Hello everybody and welcome back to Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde. Today we will be going over a character review based off of the uh, New Beginning series I've been doing. Uh, not completely filled out as you can see, but one thing to note is although I am still missing two Vichickens, uh, the arrow is complete in other forms. So we're just missing three damage, a tiny, tiny bit of crit from uh, around the map, one more damage point from around the map, but that's about it. So we are going to see how big we can make these arrows. We want to have some giant arrows, and they're going to be magical arrows. Why are they going to be magical arrows? Because we are actually going to be focusing on the Grand Hex as well well so those are gonna be our two primary weapons uh we will snag two secondaries at the same time uh, of course so we'll probably be going for vines uh, at a minimum uh, as one of the other two already we can see really nothing we want so i guess i'll take orbital fire as my second uh decision has been made right there didn't really have anything planned but you know you take what you can get so here we go, getting the Grand Hex online, and we're going to be focusing on whatever, because we are not playing Vivian. Oh, look at that, right off the bat, we're going to snag some move speed. His biggest weakness, and we've already kind of counteracted that. Uh, as you can tell, I have not gone for the, uh, the Shurikens as a boss killer, because the arrows will be our boss killer. Look at that, plus three damage per level up. Amazing. Uh, that's going to go very, very far. And we're going to get Grand Hex up pretty nicely as well, which is fantastic. So it's going to be it's gonna be a good time. This is, is going to get uh, pretty good. So, assuming we do survive so long. But as you can tell, survival already not too bad. Uh, we have tons of... Let's see how much... So these guys, which actually hit pretty hard, only hit us for 10. And we have 377 health. So I am not very worried. And here we go, the first of many cooldown reductions. Going on down to 1.1, all the way down to 0.2. That's the goal. We shall get there, and it will be fantastic. And look at this Grand Hex, plus 6 damage. It is going to be a beast. And uh, yeah, once we get the cooldown down, uh, it's going it's to be a pretty beautiful thing. Uh, we're going to have the Grand Hex just for clear. We're going to have this arrow just to deal with whatever we want. And you can see, uh, it's already working pretty good. And the first of many size increases, that's what we want to see. We want big, big old shafts. I mean, look at this thing. It's already it's already pretty pretty good. Oh, and there we go, even bigger. Definitely, definitely should do some extra damage if you shoot him in the eye with the arrow, I think. You know, I mean, I think that makes sense, but... Look at how much health he gains with these hearts, by the way. I mean, we were down almost 100 health, three hearts from that, and we're basically full again. So, thrilled. Uh, thrilled to be back on Conrad. Uh, I mainly did New Beginnings on Vivian because I, I felt, you know, I personally think she is the easiest character in 90% of the situations. As you can see, I mean, look at Conrad right now. He, he is just taking the hits because he is so slow, even with the move speed pet but at the same time i also really wanted to get the levels just to make sure things were sort of handled uh it's definitely oop, more attack size i really do want to work on some of the green hex things but can't argue with the attack size when it comes that's, that's the entire focus uh, my goal, I do really want the shop, but my goal is to have at least 400, actually, you know, I think it might even be 300 gold, because I want big techs. Uh, can't guarantee that he will be here, but, alright, we're going to take the cooldown over attack size, that is the one thing, uh, just because we need to be, we need to be shooting a little bit faster. Um, but yes, I need a little bit more money to afford big, big techs, should he be there, I believe he's 300, so we will get to 300 uh, should be should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, as you can tell, definitely harder to kill things, especially than Cleave. But you know, Cleave is a crutch. And while I I leaned very heavily on that crutch for a long, long time, uh, I I think we're finally able to move away. Although I've been slowly move. Oh, instinctively rerolled there. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, we need the money. 
And of course, because we're shooting at such long ranges, we're not necessarily... We're breaking things so far away that they're actually despawning before we even get to them, which is a little bit of a shame. But part of the nature of the game. Uh, just hope we can start to get some experience going, because we do have a lot of levels that we want to get through. I mean, realistically, as long as Arrow is sorted, uh, which it is fairly getting there, uh, we're, we're going to be fine. And Arrow itself, uh, just uh, for my own perspective, I treat Arrow as a the best hybrid weapon in the game. Uh, and what I mean by that is it is a weapon that, especially once you level it up, it can clear waves. I mean, you can look at this thing just clearing out uh, all of this. I mean, look at that. That is highly, highly effective. Uh, and its speed is getting down quite low. Uh, the other side of the coin, so it's good at clearing waves, and especially once you get the speed up, you can essentially just spam things in all sorts of directions. All right, get out of here. All right, move mummy. I, I have had enough of you. Oh, uh, the Moon Mummy. He is the bane of my existence. But it's fine. We've gone down, but he's going to die, and he's just going to give us... Hey, we're at 44 health. Let's see what we get just from the Moon Mummy chest. Oh, look at that. We're back over 100. Thank you, High Health Pool Conrad. And we're already basically at the cooldown of a max level uh, cleave. Not quite. You know, we're still still a little, little off. But we're almost there, you know? So, one more level and we will be there. So, and look at how big these are. Oh my god. It's happening. So, and these are uh, this big and we are only at size 7. We have three more to go. These things are going to be ginormous at the end. And uh, going to be going to be quite a beautiful thing. So, because of its faster speed, again, 0 0.2 versus 0 0.3 might not sound like too much of a difference, but I mean, you're talking five attacks a second versus three and a third attacks a second. That's that's quite substantial uh, in terms of boss killing potential. Uh, not to mention the plus three damage per level. This that's uh, I think the real key that makes it a, a good boss killer weapon because it just has that one of the best scalings in the game. I mean, the other quote-unquote best scale, or the best scaling in the game is the Grand Hex that you uh, you see here. Uh, and because that's six damage per level, I mean, you can't you can't really beat that. But its attack speed is so slow that it's it's more of just a nicety than anything else. And let's actually get some money. I, I've just been waffling on, not picking up some money. Well, let's see if we can get this shop going, uh, because we do... Oh, there, here's all the money we need for anything we want from the shop right here slowly making our way there almost got it and here we go fantastic so we can already see it's doing 63 damage on a crit which is pretty pretty nice uh and yeah this this guy he can he can take the hits he can take them but eh, we can de we can deal with it even more so so yes uh it is a boss killer it is a wave killer and in some regards, while the shurikens are definitely higher DPS, uh, no doubt, not even a question, uh, the arrow does have a huge benefit over the shurikens, is that, as you can see, with its wave-clearing abilities, its wave-clearing abilities are because it passes through enemies. So... I chose this map, actually, specifically, uh, as the boss does summon enemies from his body, and with the shurikens, you generally have to kill those to get to the boss. Where with this, well, unfortunately for him, uh, we can very easily just do that no matter what. He is uh, not going to be protected by them. Unfortunate. No, no to the uh, the big techs for now. But let's uh, let's keep going. Fingers crossed we, we find a cage or two. Probably not too many. Unfortunately, the move speed is definitely a hindrance. Uh, I mean, there's nothing to be said. I That's my biggest uh, complaint with Conrad, is just I, I, I want to collect all of this stuff, and I have such limited range. Don't have a mag slime. Don't have movement speed. I mean, I even have the movement speed. Uh, 
Probably should have got just uh, done a search for the plus 30% movement speed heroic. Maybe that would have been solved a lot of my issues, but I just went with what was there. I think it was the experience one. Uh, I didn't actually look, but, you know, eh, you take what you can get. So far, the, I mean, the arrows blot out his entire character. It's great. I am a fan, and we are gonna we are not getting cooldown for Grand Hex. It is a little disheartening there as well. I want I want to have Grand Hexes going off everywhere because it it doesn't matter what gets the kill. I mean, don't get me wrong, things dying further away definitely not a good thing for Conrad as he's not gonna make it. But Big Tex is gonna be here. No. Oh oh no. But you know what? In honor of Conrad, we will get his partner in crime, Chikonrad. You know, normally don't pick up Chikonrad, but how can you say no? To, I mean, look at how cute Chikonrad is, especially next to Conrad. I wish he could rearrange the pets so he was first, but... But yeah, uh, this is honestly not, you know, a little... Not difficult, but it's definitely not as easy as I would like it to be. Uh, I do miss the old, old arrow, but as you can see, we are now at the same speed of uh, of our cleave. Ooh, oh, pet cage. Oh, come on. As long as it doesn't give us a new pet, because we want to keep our pet slots open, uh, because we're, we'll be at four. And not to say that it's a guaranteed fifth if we get another pet cage. It's, you know, one closer to the max. little spooky. There we go. Big Tex on board. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, that's everything we wanted. Look at it. Look at it in its almost entire glory. And my non-ability to pick up all of this experience. We have we have maximum speed. So now, as you can see right here, we can sort of just sort of dance around and everything just dies from these arrows. This is what I'm talking about when it's a, uh, a clear. And because it's such a fast speed, it gets these damage increases of plus three per level. You just look at something, and it dies. You're surrounded by things, you just do a little dance, and they all die. So, it's it's quite a beautiful thing. Uh, I, I wasn't necessarily focusing that boss down. I should have just looked at it as a point of reference, but hey. Uh, the <laughs> I got you, Conrad. I got Conrad. I can take a hit or two. That's the other beautiful thing. You know, you put something in your sight, it's going to die. It won't die as fast as if uh, it's getting targeted by by the shurikens. Don't get me wrong. But, hello, Mr. Fly. Oh, and he's dead. And he's dead. It's, it's a great combination. And they are so large that we really have nothing to fear at this point. I, I mean... Don't get me wrong, feel free to watch the whole video, but, I mean, no, there, there's really, really nothing that can happen uh, from this point forward other than gaining as many levels as possible. Uh, I want as many levels as possible because the, the secretive thing here is, yes, Arrow currently is one of the weapons that does not have a cap for its damage. Oh. You can keep leveling it up and up and up with plus three per level, and it just hits harder and harder and harder. Now, there is currently a glitch. I don't want to quite call it a bug, uh, because uh, people do think that you do not do crits after a certain number. Uh, but it is actually a glitch, as I call it, because they're doing crits, they're just not showing up as crits. Uh, so we will most likely hit that value uh, sometime relatively soon. I think it's once you get around 40 damage, so two or three more levels and in the damage, and we should probably stop seeing the yellow 99s or so. And yeah, I mean, not too bad, not too bad. We're... we're sitting pretty pretty so to speak what is our damage number at currently let's just see we're at eight cooldown is 10 attack size is 10 so these are our biggest arrows and our crit chance is at six so we still have another 20 percent more crit to gain 
fantastic. I was hoping to get more levels into the uh, Grand Hex. Unfortunately, because we don't have a Mag Slime for Conrad, his ability to pick up experience is not very strong. It happens, you know. It's 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 not too bad. But uh, another thing coming up. The devs have said the update is near. It is on the way. So what does that mean? It's coming, you know, tomorrow, you know, or today, because I post this video, uh, uh, or I film the video a day early. I don't know, but it is fingers crossed happening this week, maybe for 4th of July weekend. I think that would be, that's probably what they're aiming for is for 4th of July weekend. So maybe on Friday. Uh, I think that's going to be amazing. I am so looking forward to that. And I will say uh, everything that I know is going to be changing, I think. Uh, pets are changing. The I'm not 100% sure if the synergies with characters are changing, but there will be a new character and a new weapon. Uh, new maps. Uh, hardcore mode, which means I'm going to be starting fresh again. Oh my, oh my. Uh I think for hardcore mode, if you are at this point and listening, please leave a comment just to let me know. For hardcore mode, I am probably going to try and do a Maxine only run in essence, uh, just to make it as hard as possible, which means there will be a lot of deaths. Uh, and I, I will post those as well, uh, hopefully. You know, maybe I'll do more cutscene style things, and one video might be uh, like 10 deaths trying to get just started. <laughs> because I think that's that would be a lot of fun. Now, how does one start with Maxine? Well, unfortunately, on a fresh web, you do not have Maxine. So I'm not going to start with her on the first map, but I will go directly to Maxine with all of my points, nothing else, and once I unlock Maxine, uh, it will be the, the Maxine Hardcore run. So I think that's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a huge challenge starting out with essentially 25 hit points. Might have like 30 uh, if you get some health and things like that really early on. But it, it's uh, I don't I don't even know what hardcore mode's going to be. So I just know it is a new slave slot and it is a tag on the save slot. So I I, it, I don't know. I was kind of expecting it to be the third difficulty for maps. But it does appear that it is not the third difficulty for maps. It appears it is its own separate thing. So, it, I mean, if it's you die, it's over. Well, then clearly, uh, clearly that's not going to happen. But I don't really think that's... While in, I, I, don't, I don't really think that's possible to not have any currency, no upgrades, and not... And be... Eh, I don't know. Being the first boss with nothing at all... Uh, I mean, I know once I got some points into Cleave, I was able to do it, but they are reworking how the abilities work. So it is quite possible uh, that, that that is the case. Uh, we are at 117 damage now, as you can see, uh, for our crits, which are happening very frequently, which is very nice. Could use another damage point or two, uh, but we just got some cooldown. It's fine. Uh, I'm essentially giving up looking for chests. I just want to make sure we get some experience. I'd like some levels going on. Um, and, oh, these arrows just just make short work of everything. Uh, let's see. 126 still showing up, so we still have the ability to crit in this, uh, in this view. Or, not the ability. It has not visually vanished. Uh, I am getting low on health, so I do have to take that into consideration. And there we have it. You can no longer see critical strikes, and it does appear that, you know, it looks like they're doing 45s, but they're getting hit so frequently that they, those enemies can actually survive a hit for 45. They're also getting, they're also being deleted relatively fast, and that one actually died without any visual indication right there. That's what I was trying to show. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And yeah, we're, we're in some quote-unquote trouble, but, you know, you gotta have the faith. We have loads of damage. The boss is coming, and there is a chest over here. Let's see if we can get to that beforehand. May, uh, maybe it'll have uh, two hearts or so. I'd be happy with even just one. You know, one heart goes a really long way with Conrad. And that's another reason why Hearty is amazing on Conrad. 
Uh, no actual hearts, but look at that. Uh, we're going through the boss. Look at his health just going down. And I wasn't even really targeting him there. He has all of these ads that he's spawning. And we can just point down, and it just goes through all of them, hitting the boss afterwards. Uh, a little bit more cooldown on our Grand Hex. Just fine. No problems. And yeah, I'm taking some hits. I'm a, I'm a little, a little lazy with it. But the boss is at 600 health. Who really cares? Look at that. Right in the center. Success. Uh, that's Beauty Conrad. You know, you have that damage reduction. Although, in bosses, it really doesn't matter. Because when you're getting hit for 35, you know, two extra damage reduction does not really do a whole lot. But the amount of health certainly makes up for it. So as you can see, we did end with 14 damage upgrades. And 10 cooldown, 10 attack size, 9 crit chance, so pretty, pretty good. Conrad, with his large arrows, are able to clear screens. He's able to, you know, do pretty much anything. Arrow is a perfect multi-tool uh, ability. I hate it on Vivian, unless it is your starting weapon. It's amazing as a starting weapon, uh, actually. Because it's a guaranteed blue soul drop. Uh, but on Vivian, the real key with her is to focus on your starter weapon getting the kills. Whatever your starter weapon is, pretty much every single one is this gets blue things better. Blue experience orbs better. So if anything else is taking your kills, you're hurting your experience. So on every other character though, who cares? Any weapon getting the kill is a good thing, which is why I wanted to go with Grand Hex as well, because that'll just kill things wherever, and it doesn't matter. It's getting the same blue uh, rune or blue experience orb chance as everything else. So, uh, I'm not 100% sure on the next video. Uh, we shall see. Again, I'm sort of gearing up for the patch coming up. Uh, I'll put something out, do another uh, spotlight of a weapon on a character that I have not yet done in the character highlights. Uh, it will be maxed. Maybe we'll try a, a Conrad Mines and a Maxine Mines for the next video or two. It is not currently maxed. This one is maxed. Uh, this one is not even unlocked, uh, which, you know what? Let's just do some conversion. I did unlock the conversion. Uh, I'm pretty much done with all of those. And now we can get these mines. Let's see, do we have enough? Uh, well, not enough, but we can get this plus two damage. That's it. Plus two damage. Seven more bombers. I'll get that off screen. But a hundred, a hundred of these embers to give it plus two damage. Not banners plus two damage, just plus two damage. On a level up, it gets four damage. So this is 500 of the blue runes for one damage. This is 750 for one damage. So 1250 of these, which would be 12, th so 1250, which is one, is the same as a hundred of these. I mean, I'm, it's a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand when we just got it for 1250. Come on. If this was banner plus two damage, okay, you know what, I'm on board. Sign me up. But, eh, I'll get it for the next video anyway uh, when we're looking at it. We want them to be as max as possible. Unfortunately, I couldn't get this plus three damage because I did this a lot and it never dropped. So, thanks for sticking around if you did. Uh, if you didn't, well, you know, pass, it, pass me thanks you for watching what you did. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see anything else in particular. Again, uh, when the new patch hits, I will be doing uh, new reviews of all character synergies. I will be doing uh, all sorts of things like that, as well as, you know, what works best, how weapons changed. I'll do a how weapons change video, character synergies video, and highlights on the new weapon and the new character. So thank you very much again. Have a wonderful day, and happy hunting.